About one in 10 infants are born prematurely, and about half of those infants have life-threatening apnea, hypoxia. Basically, as baby stops breathing, generally we use a time limit of around 20 seconds. How could we not only detect when this might happen, but actually have some sort of preventative measure, and actually in our case it's a device, not a drug, that would sense before it happens and it would give a signal that would make them breathe normally again. And so our colleagues at the VIS are very, very focused on how to take great scientific ideas and to translate that into a practical a therapeutic option that can be used to improve the lives of these infants. So UMass Medical was brought in as a formal partner institution based on the potential synergy they saw from us working together. We're developing a couple of devices here at the VEAST to help with infant apnea. One is the vibrating infant mattress. The surface that the infant lays down on is a thin foam layer. There's a vibrating actuator in there that basically just vibrates the soundboard. Stochastic vibratory stimuli of the mattress improves the stability of breathing and that's very exciting for us. The amount of stimulation that needs to be given to that infant after it's already stopped breathing is much, much greater than if you give stimulation before they stop breathing. So if we have a mattress that can at some point have a predictive algorithm that tells us when the baby might have these periodic episodes and we can turn the mattress on, we might be able to prevent life-threatening episodes in the infants. What we realized is that we need to get more and more data. So the new data acquisition system allows us to be able to have hours and hours of data or weeks of data. We couldn't do that before. So we're taking the signals that you can acquire from a standard hospital monitor and you're actually number crunching those signals to predict apnea and when it's going to occur. So by having this acquisition that the VIS is developing, we can put mattresses in a lot of different bedsides as opposed to years and years of research at one at a time. If we can come up with algorithms algorithms and rules and uh, simple bedding technologies developed at low cost, can we implement these at home? Apnea prematurity was a problem that people knew existed. It was just something that you monitored and then tried to manage. The VIS coming at this in terms of real the physics of human physiology that we could predict and actually prevent is really unique. I think that's really one of the exciting things about what we bring to the problem.